Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, we're talking about Sam Darnold in terms of the 2018 NFL Draft class, uh, in terms of his production analytics. Uh, I've done a video in the past in terms of Sam Darnold, in terms of his film, and in terms of analytics, but I figured I would get this video out there as a final assessment of his production in terms of his career production and in terms of just his overall in-game sort of data work. So that is what we're going to be looking at today. And if you are new to the channel and you are not familiar with the work that I do, all terms and definitions will be in the description. So if you're not familiar with high school production data, you're not familiar with FBS stat scores and those other sort of things, all that information will be in the description. I'll do my best to kind of give a brief synopsis of things as I do the video, but Again, all the stuff on the methodology pretty much will be in the description. So let's start with Sam Darnold. So uh, first off, when you look at his FBS production scores and high school production score, uh, he had an 84.35 out of 100 high school production score, uh, which pretty much hits every single threshold when it comes to long-term starting potential and Pro Bowl potential. Uh, every single multiple Pro Bowl quarterback since the 2007 NFL Draft class had at least an 84 or higher score, which is guys like Russell Wilson, Cam Newton, uh, Andrew Luck, Matt Ryan, all those types of guys. So Sam Darnold pretty much from the get-go um, hits every sort of thing that you're looking for when it comes to his, you know, his, his high school production score. On top of that, his FBS production score, which is basically his best single season FBS production score, is 97.07 out of 100, which pretty much hits the long-term starting quarterback threshold and the Pro Bowl quarterback threshold as well when it comes to his data. Um, so, so Darnold in many ways pretty much hits every single bottom end, single best single season performance that you would want in terms of high school data and in terms of college data. Uh, now when you get to his career FBS production score, um, what you do with this number is you basically take all of his performances and you divide it by how many years he played. And In Sam Darnold's case, he played two seasons of production. Um, so you add both those years together and then you divide it by two. Um, and what you get is 89.54 out of 100. And based on the data since the 1958 NFL Draft class, he pretty much hits every single threshold in terms of all-pro potential, pro Bowl potential, and long-term starting potential in terms of the bottom-end thresholds for those particular fields. Um, on top of that, when you look at the average scores at the position, so the average score of an all-pro player, the average score of a pro Bowl player, and the average score of a starter player in terms of career data, uh, Sam Darnold also hits all those thresholds uh, in terms of uh, you know having 89.54 out of 100, pretty much is within the average area of a All Pro potential guy, Pro Bowl potential guy, etc. Um, what you can say about this data is pretty simply this: um, Sam Darnold hits every single production metric that you you could possibly want in terms of a long term starting quarterback to a high quality NFL quarterback. Um, he's better than than Josh Rosen just in the just with the fact that. He has a better overall average in terms of his career. Josh Rosen's had some ups and downs in his career based on data, um, whereas Darnold has it. Now, it is important to note that Sam Darnold only played two seasons while Josh Rosen played three, but that's neither here nor there uh, in terms of his overall data. Uh, but the bottom line is, when it comes to Sam Darnold, um, pretty much hits every single production threshold that you're looking for at the position, and very high likelihood of becoming a high-quality NFL quarterback based on his data and all that really matters now is what the character assessment is like with him and if there's any off the field stuff and those other sort of factors but if there isn't any of those other issues um, Sam Donald should be considered one of the top quarterbacks in this draft class with a very good likelihood of becoming a very very successful NFL player in the future uh, and of course uh, my name is James Coburn you can find my other work at draftcoburn.wordpress.com you can also follow me on Twitter at Gemetrics and if you like this content and you want more content like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, share this video as well with anybody that you know. Hit that notification button so that you're always reminded when another video of mine drops. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.